What's up, Warhammer fans? So I went ahead and I had to go pick up my new commemorative series model for having a Warhammer TV subscription. Um, you can say what you will about that, but I mean, you get basically 60 bucks for a model and some battle reports. I have a lot of things to say about Warhammer TV. But I went to go pick up my commemorative model, which is the World Eaters Terminator, Azrark the Annihilator. I'm really excited to build him because the last commemorative model I built was super sweet. And like any other good Warhammer fan, I went ahead and spent a lot of money and I didn't want to spend when I went there. I bought a new chibi figure, and so I'm going to be opening that up in another video to see what we got. I went ahead and bought some more paint glue because I did need to get some more paint glue to keep building all the models that Warhammer Imperium sends me. Some more uh, primer that I use, which is the Gray Seer, which is really good to bring out highlights for me, like on models, you know, bring out little details. I got three new paints, and I'm super excited to use. Uh, I got Shade Pox Walker, which will make making a lot of my Death Guard models uh, quicker, the Pox Walkers I have in there. As a contrast paint, I got a layer ba paint for Calibite Green, which will look great on painting my Necron models around their jewels. Uh, and yes, I meant that literally, they're jewels. <laughs> and then Shade Mortarion Grime, which will look awesome on the Death Guard too. Now, if you guys have noticed, there's some Leviathan stuff in here. And there's a reason for that. But I'll show you these before I show you why. I did actually, I was lucky enough to get the Terminator collectible coin and then the guy was super sweet. So shout out to the guy at the Warhammer store in Houston. <clears throat> the manager was awesome. He gave me also a Tyranids coin. And then of course you get the acrylic tokens, which I'll be opening shortly. But let me show you why I got these. So against the advice of my loved ones, I went ahead and purchased the Leviathan box set, despite already having an excessive amount of shame and having more plastic than I know what to do with. I went ahead and got convinced to buy it from the guy at the store. Um, if you guys don't know what's in the Leviathan box set, it's pretty freaking sweet. And I actually cannot wait to open it. I will probably be doing a full YouTube video where I go into depth on what I got in the actual box set. And probably where I want to build first. I'm really interested in building a lot more of the Tyranid models more than the Space Marines. But stay tuned for that, guys. I do have some other videos coming out on my YouTube. So, guys, make sure you check me out on Jack Skellington 117 on YouTube as well. All right. See you guys in the next one.